Wix affiliate marketing website. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your affiliate marketing website for Wix. Now, first off, you need to create your account on Wix. I already have one, but all it takes is your email and a password to create your account here on Wix. And once you have created that, you're just going to click on create new site over here. And depending on what kind of affiliate link website you want to create, you're going to curate and customize your website accordingly. So if I I go on to Amazon Associates. Now, Amazon Associates is the affiliate link program where uh, you're going to get links from Amazon to promote certain products. And if you're doing that, you're going to link your Amazon products here on your Wix website. So what you're going to do is first off, Wix is going to ask you what kind of website you're creating. So you are just going to do a affiliate marketing portfolio. You're going to click on next. And now you can do this in two ways. You can either let the ADI create a website for you, or you can create a website with the website editor and start editing a template. That's totally up to you. If you want to save some time and if promoting affiliate links is a side hustle, I would suggest you opt for a ADI solution but if this is something you do full time and you want this to be very lucrative and customizable then you should definitely go with the website editor so for this video i'm going to go with a template editing method because i find that to be far more uh, helpful for you guys to understand how this really works now you can see over here that these are some of the basic templates now if you want total control over your affiliate marketing website you can click on blank templates over here and you can start from scratch where you can either even start from scratch totally or get a basic layout for how to place your items and then start from over there for this video i'm going to show you guys how you customize a template now for the templates i find them to be the best because wix provides you with a lot of different templates and you're going to be able to find something that you like within their templates and you're, you're not going to have to spend as much time in figuring out how to develop and design your website so for this purpose you're just going to scroll and you can see i have 26 pages of just marketing marketing templates so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna keep looking until i find something that really catches my eye and you need to keep in mind that the first page should really illustrate that you're promoting products because uh, this is a affiliate marketing website you don't want your basic purpose for the website to be drowned in uh, other stuff so you want to make sure that your products are the central theme of your website so what I'm going to do is I am going to keep just a close eye. This is very beautiful. Now you can see over here, this is a, uh, this template is called the illustrator, but the thing is it has a lot of image boxes and these image boxes are going to enable me to display my items and the products that I'm promoting. So I'm just going to open up this template and I'm going to load this template on my screen and it might take a few seconds for this. So don't worry about that. Usually templates can take a few seconds to load. Now you can see over here, my template has been loaded and on the left side you will find all of your editing editing tools and on the top you can see some of the basic tools now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the website name and I'm gonna click on edit text over here and now obviously I can change the font or anything else but the first thing I'm gonna do is change the site name so let's say Anna's recommended or if you want a very direct direct kind of website you can do Anna's affiliate or whatever in it, your name is like this and you can change the font you can customize every element within a template you don't need to worry that oh i'm using a template i won't be able to customize it you can do that there's nothing to be afraid of now the thing i'm going to do now is first off you can just choose to delete an entire section and start posting on your own or what i'm going to do actually is i'm going to leave this as is and i'm going to create a shop now page so i'm going to create i'm going to click on add over here this plus icon you can see you have these menus and pages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on add page over here now you can use one of these little basic templates or layouts for your pages or you can create a empty page but i will actually use this professional looking page and this might seem a bit odd like this page has people's faces and stuff but the thing is meet the team kind of uh, page is very helpful in displaying your products as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add this page and i'm going to rename it to shop or products you can do it uh, either way you want so i'm just going to wait until that loads so now that my page has loaded i am going to rename my page so this was named about but i'm going to rename it and i'm going to rename it shop or products 
But I'm going to name this page products. And what I'm going to do is first off, I am going to change off the text. Then I'm just going to cut out this little bottom section. Now, after that, what I'm going to suggest you do is as the products and as these little people's information is displayed, I would display a product image over here and I would display the product details over here with a shop mail link that directly links to the Amazon product. So just as an example, I'm going to change up this image. Now you can see over here, I've removed the image and I'm just going to click on add. And I'm going to add a image and I'm just going to use the image collection from the free Wix images just to show you guys how you're meant to add your images. Obviously, you're going to upload your own media or download pictures from the Amazon product itself and then upload them over here. So let's say I am just selling makeup. So I'm just going to do nail polish. That's the affiliate that I might have. And I'm going to use this image. I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on add to page over here at the bottom. Now I'm just going to resize this image and you can size this accordingly like this. And then I'm going to resize the text as well. So I just deleted that because I found that a bit annoying, but I'm going to resize these blocks. So I'm going to move one block like this. All you have to do is drag your cursor up or down to move a block size. And now I'm going to click on this add button again, and I'm going to click on text and I'm going to click on add heading. And I'm just going to write whatever details or product details you want. So obviously I have just done this as an example. The best thing you can do is obviously if you're using a similar text block, you can highlight this text and then you can change the font separately like this. And the next thing you're going to add over here is you're going to add this button. So you're going to click on plus over here on the top left and then you're going to click on and then you are going to add a themed button. So you can add any of these buttons and you're going to rename it anyways. So depending on what affiliate you are using, if it's the Amazon affiliate, you want a basic kind of button, but that's still up to generally what affiliate you're using. And then you're going to add this over here and what you're going to do and you're going to rename it like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to link. So you're going to link a web address, this web address. So you're going to go on to your Amazon affiliate link. Obviously, you're going to get your own affiliate link. But as an example, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to search for nail polish and I'm going to link a nail polish to the buy now of this website like so. I'm going to open this up over here. I'm going to paste it and this is going to open up in a new window. I'm going to click on done and that's it. So now this, this buy now button is going to lead my person or the visitor of this website to the affiliate link. Now I'm just going to publish this and show you guys how it's going to work in real time. Now you can see over here, this was our homepage. And if I click on the product section, you can see our recommendations and you can see this is the nail polish that I added. And if I click on the buy now icon, you can see that this Amazon page has popped up in the new window. And this is how you create a simple affiliate marketing website using Wix.com. I hope you guys found this video helpful and I will catch you guys in the next video.